Hello, this is James, and I'm back with another video. In this video, we're going to talk about the Sony a7 III. Well, actually, all Sony cameras, they seem to have the same issue whenever you are hooking it up to a monitor, and that is you lose the ability to have face detection. To be clear, I'm saying face, not phase. Face. A lot of stuff that I talked about on here will be the same things that I talked about in my new york f100 video so if you've seen that then you probably don't need to continue on watching this video because i'm pretty much going to be talking about the same thing when it comes to the face detection but this is a little bit more of a breakdown about that issue now this video ain't about how to fix that this video is basically showing you that yeah you might lose face detection but the regular autofocus works well you have no issues with it that's something that i didn't know whenever i was thinking about buying a monitor for my sony a7 III is that i thought the autofocus didn't work at all whenever you attached a monitor to it because i was hearing other people complain about the face detection i didn't realize they was only talking about face detection they didn't talk about the regular autofocus because the regular autofocus works just fine with it and also you get face detection if you record in 1080p so if i knew this little detail i would have gotten a monitor a while back but unfortunately i listened to a lot of people on youtube complain about the face detection and i thought they were saying that you lose autofocus altogether when you add a monitor to it so uh, so I'm glad I ended up getting this monitor and I figured it out and I thought, you know what, I'm going to go ahead and pass my knowledge to all of you. If you want to use face detection and that's important to you, you can always get that in 1080p. Not only that, if you are going to be using a lot of slow motion anyways, uh, you're going to be filming in 1080p 60 anyhow with a Sony camera. But if you really need 4K and you got a record in 4K, don't worry, you still got autofocus. And the autofocus works really good, as you will see in my examples. The difference between face detection and regular autofocus is, let's say if I put my hand in front of my, uh, front of my face and out towards the camera, it's going to focus on that hand. If you have face detection on, it's going to focus on your face rather than whatever object you have in front of you, whether that be your hand or anything else. Right here I'm using regular autofocus without face detection so that you see how well it does. I also went ahead and overexposed as you've seen right there and I decided to go ahead and put the camera in a different angle and also put the screen in a different angle just to see how good it does and as you can see the autofocus kept up really good. Unless you're a blogger that's the only way I could think of it being an issue. Even if you, um, if you are a blogger, this still will work out great for you. So uh, it's up to you. If face detection is important to you, then uh, yeah, that would be a downside. You might want to go ahead and record in 1080p. Anyways, that's it for this video. Until next time, peace out and live long and prosper.